Breaking, top Mexican Democrat calls for President Trump to be eliminated. Rep. Luis Gutierrez, D. Eel, emphatically and loudly insists that President Donald Trump is the real enemy and even calling him a major criminal who must be peacefully eliminated and brought to his knees after Democrats take back the House of Representatives and begin the impeachment process. Gutierrez threw his epic tantrum, railing at the sheer audacity of President Trump and his expectation that immigration laws be followed and enforced and he vowed to resist the president's efforts with everything possible. President Trump is ending Obama's executive amnesties, impacting 1.2 million illegal aliens here without proper legal immigration papers. What is this bizarre world where illegal aliens are not criminals? But the president expecting the borders of the country he is entrusted with governing be maintained and its laws to be followed is considered the criminal. Yet that's just what Gutierrez is screaming to anyone that will listen. Gutierrez states dash. For me, the major criminal that exists in the United States of America is called Donald Trump. He lives at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue at the White House and we're going to take actions today, and we're going to take actions tomorrow. And there will soon be a majority in the House of Representatives, and I am going to make sure that I am there, to make sure of one thing, that we write those articles of impeachment and take him to trial before the Senate and eliminate him as President of the United States of America. Gutierrez invoked images of Gandhi while vowing that he has no intention of allowing Donald Trump and all of his cronies that he surrounds himself with from Wall Street at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to determine the future of 1.2 million people. Gandhi took on, the greatest British empire non-violently with love in his heart, and he brought them down to their knees. We can do the same thing to Donald Trump in the United States of America if we are ready to do it. Call me crazy but I was under the impression that a criminal by definition was one that broke the law and illegal aliens have done just that by virtue of their presence in America without the proper paperwork. Yet Gutierrez his audience dash. You want to know who a criminal is? Someone who takes health care away from 33 million people is a criminal. Somebody who puts in charge of the Environmental Protection Agency someone who takes their orders from polluters and contaminates our air, and our water and our land is a criminal. Someone who uses his executive authority to turn away people fleeing devastation, have you seen the children? Have you seen the faces of those fleeing Syria? And he says, no, you can't come to this country and seek refuge in the United States of America. To me, that's a criminal. Someone who surrounds himself from people from Wall Street that ripped us off in 2007 and 2008. Someone who surrounds himself with bankers from Wall Street instead of people. Those are criminals. Funny, but there seems to be no mention of Obama and fight for the people his $400,000 speeches for Wall Street or the Clintons hobnobbing with the same. Gutierrez then touted the party line for the Democratic Party claiming they fight for the rights of the people standing up for LGBTQ rights, climate change, and Black Lives Matter in 2016. He called Black Lives Matter his inspiration claiming he would not be in Congress at all if not for black Americans and their fight for civil rights, human rights, and political dignity. But he vowed that his love for illegal immigrants who received Obama's executive amnesties is moving him to action and declared, we will be triumphant and use every means at our disposal that is peaceful, in order to make the case, in the most important court in the United States, in the court of public opinion where we will win. I'm ready to occupy whatever it is you have to occupy, whether it's an office, whether it's a building, whether it's a street, but we will do what we need to do in order to make our case resoundingly clear to the American public. Funny but I thought we were a constitutional republic, a nation of laws that relied on a system of checks and balances to govern for the people, by the people, not a nation of mob rule where public opinion reigns supreme. Gutierrez then called President Trump out stating the president cannot say I am the king and I am the dictator, vowing to make democracy work for everyone no matter they be gay, straight, brown, white, papers or no papers and making wild claims of putting his freedom on the line so other people can be free. I roll. Using the powers afforded your office by the Constitution does not make one king, or dictator nor does expecting to be able to obey and enforce the lawful immigration orders.
expecting the American people to continue to foot the bill to their own detriment as illegal aliens continue to pour across our country's borders as though they do not exist. Exist.